I think the most important thing is that prior to that experience, my faith was, I would say, an intellectual faith. But through this whole experience, I now feel like as I walked through it and he walked with me and carried me, I now know him. The latest phase of my spiritual walk started at a very definitive moment about almost exactly five years ago. So I was standing in my kitchen in November 2017 on a Saturday, drinking a cup of coffee, staring out the window, looking at the birds, when I was instantly struck with a feeling of fear that rippled through my body from top to bottom to where I actually stepped back and thought, what in the world just happened to me? From that moment, I was thrown into a several year period of severe anxiety. The main feeling was that I was going to pass out and create a big scene. So that was my, the terror. So I instantly had huge amount of trouble going to work, going to church, going to stores, basically going anywhere outside of the house. And I guess the way I can describe it is constantly feeling like you're sitting on the edge of a cliff and ready to fall off. Like any normal person, I think, how did this happen to me? What, what happened? Let, let me go to the internet and start searching. How do I solve this problem? Anxiety, what do I do about it? So I instantly went to human type solutions. I found, what if it's a nutritional deficiency? It's a vitamin thing. I found magnesium calms you down. Let me, let me order some of that and start taking it. Well, that made me feel more weird, so that, that ended pretty quickly. I thought, uh, my, my neck and shoulders are tight all the time. Maybe I, I've done something exercising. I've like overdone something. So like, let me stop that for a while. That'll, that'll help me. That didn't do anything. What do I do now? I found that being in the Word was incredibly comforting. Started replacing, one of the things early on was replacing the thoughts of anxiety with praise. I also got from Tim Keller, which he got from Martin Lloyd-Jones, was stop listening to yourself and start talking to yourself. Another thing that Keller talked about was the concept of walking through suffering. You have to walk through it because the tendency, my tendency was to isolate. The most terrifying thing was not the situations that I was going into. The most terrifying thing was the realization that I now had no control over my own mind. One other thing, one other habit that I developed out of this situation was when I'm home from work, I'm going to our room every day at lunchtime, I'm shutting the door and I'm gonna pray. These practices, getting into the Word, a lot, praying a lot, singing in the car a lot, calling out to him, crying out to him. He brought me through it. It's what I experienced is, is to that level is completely gone. So I have a huge gratitude today because of that. I am thankful in situations I wouldn't be thankful in before. There's just, just no question. God, you're amazing and I love you and it's so thankful of what you've done, so you deserve all the glory. God is faithful and I have seen it.